Hey YouTube, this is Peter with Stuff Addict. Have you ever wanted to build your own home gym? Well, the first piece that you usually get for your gym is a power rack because it is so versatile, it lets you do many, many compound movements with barbells. So today I'm gonna to take a look at the one I purchased for my home gym and that's the Ethos Power Rack, an Ethos adjustable bench that you can get from Dick's Sporting Goods. So I'm going to give you a rundown of the features on the power rack, then I'm going to give you a rundown of the features on the adjustable bench, and then I'll give you my thoughts on each and whether or not I think they're worth purchasing. The adjustable bench uses a nice leather. I feel like it's real leather from touching it. It also has nice coloring and accents for the brand. You see Ethos here. It looks pretty cool to me. It's, the pad is also pretty wide, so that's my hand. So you have a lot of space to lay. It's pretty comfortable. And I feel like the rest of the construction is steel and it's powder coated black so it has a very nice build quality to it and so for the adjustable bench on the main back pad you have eight levels of adjustment for the amount of incline you have so you can start 100 percent flat so for flat bench press and then each time you raise the back pad there's notches over here that let it sit at different angles it can go, this is more of a traditional incline, and then it can go all the way to 90 degrees. So basically like a shoulder press position. Now, the butt pad where you would sit also has two positions of adjustability. So one is flat, two is a little bit tilted, and three is very tilted. I would use this when you're doing incline and you don't want to fall out of the seat when you're pressing. So basically, like something like that. Now one of the more home oriented features of the bench compared to like a commercial one is that it has these wheels down here. So you can pick up the bench and then roll it and put it up and against the wall to store it away if you don't need it at this moment and to save space. So just like this, it just rolls really easy. It has skateboard kind of style wheels and then I usually just put it up against my wall like that and it stays perfectly stable because it has this kind of tripod effect with one leg being the back pad of the bench. Now the one thing I don't like about this bench compared to one that you'll find in a commercial gym is that there's a lot of play in the backrest for side to side movement like this. And I've torqued down all the connectors per the instructions, it's just like this. So when you're doing something like a really heavy flat bench press and you know you're, you're setting your back in place so it's nice and tight, you kind of get this instability here while you're doing that compared to a commercial gym bench. And for me, that's kind of unacceptable at how much this costs. This costs about like $250, $300. So while the material and the, the portability and other aspects of it are good, this one is kind of a deal breaker. So I would look for something a little bit more stable, if you're, especially if you're doing a heavier lift. As you can see, the color scheme on the adjustable bench goes also with the power rack. So you get this red and black kind of powder coated steel look with the logo emblazoned on one of the legs, just like that. The power rack comes with one set of J-hooks. Here's the one on the right, and here's the one on the left. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with two, but I don't think any power racks really come with two, because that would let you put you know, a bar on the front of the rack, and then if I had a second pair, I could put them inside the rack, so I could have more places to set the bar in case I want to have the front set up for squats and the back set up for something else. One nice thing the rack comes with is two catch safeties. So they're about two feet long each and they can go on either the inside of the power rack or how I have them on the outside. And for me, this is really nice because I usually do most of my lifting on the outside of the power rack for a reason I'll tell you later. But another good thing is you can place the bar across the, the safeties when you're doing deadlifts to load and unload the bar. So instead of having to pull the plates while they're sitting on the ground, you can pull them off in the air. And also on the back of the catches, you can insert a rod here that they include, which will keep these rod, the safety in place. So in case it shakes a little bit, like pulls up like that. If you drop like a really heavy load on it, it will keep it from doing that. So you'll get less of bounce. The rack also comes with two safety rods that you can use for squats mostly. So you can see them right here. The safety rods also come with a black 
metal like skin that goes over them to match like this the black here but I don't have them installed because I, I don't feel like it's necessary but they do come with that too they also come with tiny of the tiny collars that go over here to keep the safety rod in place in case you know it starts coming out like that the ethos power rack uses pretty thick steel uprights so you're probably good to at least 700 pounds the uprights are three inch this way and three inch that way why is that important because that allows you to know what kind of attachments from other manufacturers will fit on the power rack the holes are spaced also three inches apart and they're one inch holes there's also a pull-up bar that goes across the top of the rack. It has to be in this particular position. You're not really supposed to move it from there. You can do close grip pull-ups in these, this position. You can do a neutral pull-up there. You can do the angled pull-up or chin-up in the middle. You can do a wide neutral with this bar and this bar. And you can do wide pull-ups with the angled ends there. And it also that's repeated on the back set of the bar too. There's also this round cross beam at the back of the power rack, which is mostly for, you know, just supporting the structure itself. But what you can also do is what I've done here is you can hang stuff from it. So I've hanged these gymnastic rings so I can do, you know, ring dips, but you can also put other stuff or you can do fat grip pull-ups if you wanted to. But at this height, even for me, I'm only like five, nine, my feet are kind of touching the floor already. The rack feet also come with pre-cut holes, so if you want to drill a bolt into the ground to help it keep stable, you can do that too. Now, the only thing I don't like about this power rack really is how much space there is within the rack. You see, I'm standing here where I would be inside the rack, and see, I'm almost as wide as the rack itself. Now, it's hard to fold it for that in a sense because this is meant for home use, so they can't make it too big, otherwise it would, wouldn't fit in anyone's house. And that's what it's intended for, right? And it's not that tall either. I, for reference, I'm five foot nine, and like, see, if I were to do a pull up off this thing, I'm still on the floor. But what can you do? So if you need a much bigger rack than this, you might want to look for gym-oriented ones rather than home-oriented ones, like the things you'll find at you know Big Five, Dick Sporting Goods, whatever. So another point about the width of the power rack. See, if I were to unrack the barbell here, imagine the J hooks were here. I can only take really one step back and that's like a half a step for me actually before I'm pretty much out of space, especially if I had a barbell with all these plates on it. So, and then if I lean a lot forward in the squat or I accidentally lean backwards, which would be really bad, I'm going to probably hit one of the uprights. So since I find it pretty claustrophobic to squat inside the rack, what I usually do is squat outside the rack and since they give you the the safety arms, I can do that pretty easily. So now that I'm out here, I don't have that space restriction where I might accidentally hit one of the uprights going a little bit forward or a little bit backwards for whatever reason. So the Ethos Power Rack comes with a lot of things like the safety arms and the J hooks and the pull-up bar and the nice red and black color scheme. A lot of the $300 racks you'll find on Amazon from, you know, basically all the same supplier from China. They have pretty bad paint scheme. They're pretty ugly but they're okay, but they're only, they can only support maybe like 500 pounds. This can go easily up to like 800, 1,000, and most people are not using that much weight to be honest. Like I can only squat like three plates, so 315. Now, do I think it's worth it to buy? Well, let's see. It costs about $600 at Dick's MSRP. They usually have it on sale, so, and then you can use a 10% coupon for signing up for their newsletter or whatever, so it gets you down to like 500, let's say, on a good day. I think it's worth it for the most part. The only thing I don't like about the rack is the J-hooks. So let me tell you what I'm talking about with the J-hook. You see how the J-hook's like very flat and when you the bar comes down, it's gonna basically go down, hit that flat surface. And this, this lip here isn't very tall. I mean, it can't be that tall. But the problem is if you're lifting heavy and then you, you know, set it down pretty hard, there's a good chance it can bounce and then go over the lip and then out onto you. If you look at the J-hooks from the commercial gym brands, you'll see that they, they usually have more of a slope here, more of a hook shape. So when the bar goes in, if it bounces, there's this curve where it'll, it'll move up the curve and then since it's curved, it'll slide back down, 
Whereas this one's more angled since it's just using these two pieces here to try to create a fake curve, but it's not really one curved piece of metal. But luckily with this power rack, since it's using a very standard three by three size and one inch hole, you can buy third party attachments and that includes nicer J hooks that you can get off Amazon. And I'll link in the description of this video, all of the compatible attachments that you can put on the power rack. And that includes things like a dip bar, uh, landmine, uh, probably pull up things, uh, weight pins to store your weights on the side if you want, things like that. So basically skip the adjustable bench because of the side to side play is just too dangerous and too cheap for how much it is. And if you want the power rack, I think it's worth it if you can find it on sale for, like I said again, around $500. Because the power rack has a good build quality, it has a cool color scheme, cool paint scheme. It looks nice in your house. It doesn't look like an eyesore, like a piece of pig metal. And then it also comes with a lot of things that other cheaper racks don't come with, like the safety arms, which give it a lot more versatility. Like, like as I said earlier, you can squat outside the rack, you can bench outside the rack, etc.